Okay, so we're going to learn how to create artwork in True Credential. So you will, the software will come with your printer so you can create your own unique ID and password. Um, mine is just a temporary license. So you'll click sign in. These notifications will pop up, so just click exit, next and continue. Right, so this is a design that I was already working on. So I'm just going to click home. Then quick start, start over, next. Okay, so these designs will immediately pop up and they are template designs. So this is just makes it easier for you to design a specific card, which could be in one of these categories. Um, but if you want to personalize your own, which is what we're going to do, is actually create a new design. I'm just going to call this template. All right, so these properties will just pop up and we'll take you through um, all the uses of the different tools. So I'm just going to click exit. But the first thing that you'll do is that you'll notice that this is um, your ID card at the moment. This is the front side and this is the back side. So what I'm going to do is that you can change the landscape, the layout of it from landscape to portrait. Um, I'm going to leave it as landscape. And we are now going to click on layers. Okay, so um, I want to activate the background layer so that I can edit and personalize my branding of the company by either adding colors to the background or pictures of the business or whatever it may be. Um, so what I need to do, first of all, is check the background and then click on it. Um, if you don't do this, it'll have an error of enabling a layer to design credential. So you need to check it before you go into it. Um, and here, what you can do is that you could just add some images. So just drag and drop um, this, I think it's a static graphic, static graphic. Um, and then you'll browse for the image that you'd like. Right, so this is just a random pattern that I saw and I liked. Um, and as you can see, it's just half of the card. Um, I'm going to drag and drop a rectangle so I can add some color to it. Okay, and I'm going to change the appearance to being red, um, which is our colors. Oh, sorry, this is the this is for your um, your line. Where I just want to change the fold to red, and then you can just add a random line if you'd like, just to separate the two. Um, yeah, and just play around with your background as much as you like, um, just to make it a bit more exciting. As you can, as you'll see at the end, it'll just be a foil at the background. Anyway, so you get the picture, and basically, I'm just going to change the width of my line. It can be a bit finicky, but yeah. But anyway, so, so I'm just I'm not going to have a background. I don't really need it. So I'm just going to delete everything. So now I'm going to activate my layer of color. Okay, as you can see, it's already activated. And I'm going to implement my logo. I'm going to implement my picture, as well as my names and email address, phone number, etc. So what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to add a static graphic for my logo. I'm going to browse for it in my documents. Is my logo right so I'm gonna try and put it nicely onto my card so she can visibly see it right try to reduce the amount of space there is okay. um, I'm happy with that I can also change the advanced settings to be completely full the field the graphic may distort so if I do this, you'll see that the graphic will definitely distort. 
Um, luckily with this one it didn't, but I'm just going to leave it as large as possible without distortion. And then I'm going to add a photograph for my employee. Right. Next I want to um, add, okay so if you, you can add elements to your design in the order that you want them to appear on your card. So whatever order you would like um, your graphics to appear, you can position them. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add my um, my name. Okay. So I will add text text field. Okay. And this text field will be called name. And I'm just going to center it um, automatically adjust the font size and then click that I'm going to change my font to later change it to being bold and let's say 20 right so you can change the font color as well as the background um, of it so you could make it red if you'd like I'm just going to leave it transparent. So I'm going to center it right next to her picture. Yeah. And then next I'm going to add a text, static text field, and I'm just going to display the text as being a website. So you can lengthen it, um, I'm going to click left, alignment must be left, and appearance um, will change that all together, so I just want to keep on adding my static static text fields. Then phone, okay great, I like that it's aligned left, you can also do word wrap or multi lines, okay. Okay, so you can position it however you like, um, as neatly as you want. I'm going to add one more static text field. If you want to select it all, um, let me just get it open. Okay. So I think I'm quite happy with that alignment. It's quite annoying. Can be a bit finicky, but anyways. So select one and then press Control and click it all. Then what you can do is that you can align them left and click the appearance um, to be later as well. And I'm going to leave it as 12 and I'm going to leave the background as well, so I'm happy with that. So yeah, that is the front side of my card, okay, and I'm quite happy with that. So um, I'm now going to add a top coat to my card, um, so be sure to use the correct supplies to support this design, okay. So your SC160 will print this, or it just comes with an additional feature. So as you can see, once you apply the top coat, it just creates a layer over it. Um, it's just for extra security and um, extra, yeah, preferences. So yeah, oh, that's that's us from on the back side of the card. Um, so I've changed the landscape to portraits just to show you something that you can do, just to add a security fe feature to make the card more difficult to duplicate. Okay, so what I want to do here is that I want to um, insert a barcode layer. So what I want you to do is activate the black layer and click on it so you can insert a barcode. Okay, so everyone will have a unique barcode or QR code um, and this also helps with um, making it difficult to duplicate. 
So there's supposed to be eight digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And I would like you to make the alignment center. Um, the appearance you don't need to change. Click advance. All right. So um, create the density to be high and interpretation text on. So as you can see, there's the numbers visible over there and you can change the fonts and all of that. But I'm actually going to just change it to a QR code and make um, the error correction medium. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. And then what I want you to do is activate the color layer and insert a rectangle. Okay. You can put on the grids to make it easier for you to um, plot it so that you do not make so many errors. Okay. All right, so you can also use the ruler as well um, for more accuracy. So I want you to insert two photographs that overlap each other. Um, so yeah, you can put one in the corner and then another one overlapping it. Yeah. All right, great. So remember, you can also change the appearance here by changing the weights make it a seven um, so that it's much more effective and I'm going to make it round. Um, so I want to change the colors of these two photographs, make one color a semi-opaque and the other grayscale. So this one I want to leave as colorful and I'm going to make it full the entire field as well as this one. Um, Alright, so to go to advanced and I'm going to click display the photo semi opaque okay and I'm just going to change this up a bit okay as you can see the transparency starts to reduce then I'm going to select the next one click advance and remove backdrop and well, as well as display the photo to grayscale so as you can see it becomes um, grayscale Okay, so then the next thing I'll do is that I'll activate the top coat to it. Um, so I'll go to layers and activate the top coat, showing that um, it is much more secure and that um, no one can basically remove, remove the pictures. Okay, so um, I'm, not, I'm obviously going to put this up because there's too many photographs there and I don't need it to be so secure. So I'm going to remove the top coat at the moment and I'm going to go back to the color mode. Delete everything I was working on. Okay, remove the grid lines and go back to black and I'm going to make it into a landscape design. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And then I'm just going to go into color scale, insert a text, static text field, and stipulate. Right, word wrap. So you can either word wrap it to make it um, over, not overlap like it does, um, and I'm going to align it to be center. I'm going to change again. I'm just going to make it a bit longer. Centers. Alright, so I'm going to save this for now and I'm going to then move towards a quick start. So you can either print a sample um, and click both sides or whatever it is that you want and click your printer that you're printing from and it'll immediately print from there. Or um, so you can just save it and then go back to your home. Um,
All right, so as you can see, it's still here. But I want to go back to my home. Say I wanted to go and print now. All right, so as you can see, here's everything that I've created. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my barcode to it. Or as you can see, my, my QR code, my email. So now I can choose my photo. This may take some time, so just be patient with it. Okay, click browse. just lengthen it a bit, make it a bit easier for people to see it and click save. Then click next. Okay, so these are just the photos that I added before but it's not necessary to add them. Um, and as you can see this is what the final card will look like. You can continue to print it and yeah voila your card will be done.